There we go. Okay, welcome to In Business Links Network and the Festina Brothers. Today we're doing part three of the Zoom guitar lesson with a Facebook watch party. How about that? How about that? Pretty cool, cool. Yeah, do it, man. Yeah, we're doing it. All right, a little bit of introduction. Uh, let's see, uh, Richard, why don't you go first? All right, I'm sitting here in, in Taiwan, New York, no snow. I got my electric guitar and I uh, got a um, mini iPad mini propped up on an acoustic guitar so you can see my face. Oh, fantastic. Okay. I'm Gary Festino. I do the, the design, the business, social media, and the marketing for the group. And Ross, why don't you uh, tell us about that little book you got there in the top right corner? Oh, yeah. It's uh, Azure and Xamarin Forms. It's a book I wrote uh, a year or two ago. Uh, for a press and uh, very good actually chapter on Xamarin if you want to get uh, highly recommended. Okay, and why don't you continue on with our products? You're working on some Facebook. Uh, you're working on some Facebook shortcut apps right now. Yeah, we're working on some shortcut apps. The first one is going to be for um, Firefox, like you see there on the screen. We're going to port that over to iOS and Android. Uh, that, that's got quite a few downloads, so we're very excited about that. Right. And uh, we also did the uh, Jethro Tull app uh, from uh, 2014 to 2020. Right, and we, right. we got a copyright on the programming. And plus we have a store, which I'm gonna show you right now. Uh, no so you could buy all your memorabilia and this goes back for the, at least it goes back for the week of rock goes all the way back to 2011. Can you believe that? More than oh, a decade wow. of week of rock. That's all great. Right. That's fabulous, right? So let's, let's continue on with our program here. Okay, all back right. to the uh, next. We are gonna have our guests uh, introduce themselves at the very end so we, we can move along with the guitar lesson because that's a very important, that's a primo thing that we do. Okay, so let's get started. What we're gonna do today is show some of the free and pro features of Zoom. We're gonna show you how to get started and, and uh, go a little bit more in depth on the host controls. And then finally, how do you get this all on a Facebook watch party? And then of Correct. course, Russell Festino will teach Ross Fostino, or Richard Fostino will teach Ross Fostino how to play 10 more of those greatest okay. guitar licks of all time. Okay. All right. All right. So here we are. So the free versus uh, pro. Uh, the free, you get 40 minutes, and it has some uh, limited features, but the pro gives you more than that, and it's unlimited. It gives you meeting and, and branding. Okay, so that's the, that's the difference in a cost of almost 150 a year. That's for, that's the start of it, all right? Right. Next, uh, simultaneously, you could do screen sharing. And one thing to note, in Zoom, the participant that is talking or playing, like playing the guitar, is live. So it's kind of like, it goes back and forth. It's almost like a walkie-talkie, where one person is talking right. at a time. So that's a good scenario right there, a walkie-talkie. And then of course you could share your, your desktop and your applications, except for the iPad. The iPad uh, is very limited on what other applications you could share. So keep that in mind. If you want, if you have something that you want to share that's on a desktop, then use the desktop. Okay. Yeah. Your host controls, we're going to get into a little bit more in depth, uh, but it includes a group and private chat box. A virtual background, which uh, none of us right now is showing, but we can show you that. And it records and it gives you archives. And the recording gives you several different formats too. So it's open to various platforms, Mac and PC, in terms of the video and also all your social media platforms. So they're pretty, they got it covered. So whatever you want to record and play it back, you can do it. Okay, so now to get into uh, Zoom, you've, you've all seen this little uh, greeting thing. But the uh, more important thing is, is to test your speakers and your microphone before you start. And then those that aren't talking, uh, it's a good idea to, to mute your, your mic as well. All right, so here are the controls I talked about. The first we're gonna go over is uh, mute and uh, stop video. Of course, mute is, uh, is to mute and unmute your microphone that's on, on your either your phone or your laptop. And stop video does the same thing. It enables or disables your camera that's on, that's on your device. 
Next is the security button that enables uh, the host to set up waiting rooms to let people into the waiting room. It, it, lock, it locks the meeting room from other people or lets them in and it manages permissions of, of the participants. So you can find out more about that right on Zoom. Participants is what we have here, right? Now, if you got the gallery view, you could see uh, that we have uh, five, uh, uh, six participants basically right now. All right, and we got Rachel. We're going to admit Rachel. She's just joining us. Hey, hello, Rachel. Uh, we just admit we're into the presentation. Uh, you you'll get the yes. the first yes. half yeah. later yeah. on. Okay, I don't yeah. see her joining. Can you hear me, Gary? Okay, let her get her. Okay. Uh, all right. Can you so. Hear me? Uh, participants, as I mentioned, you're going to show your five or six people, and, and it goes up to about 40, I believe. Uh, uh, next is 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 pose, which uh, Russell is going to show us some pose later on at the end of the presentation. How you how you pull the people that that are participating in the meeting, and then find uh, then this chat button. You can either have a private chat with one or two of the individuals of the meeting, or you can send out uh, a, a chat to everybody. Like for example, in the beginning of this meeting, I gave you the addresses to both the live presentation and uh, the Zoom meeting. All right, share screen uh, is what I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm on a desktop and I'm sharing my screen. And of course you can record, there's a record button. And then finally, a, a new control is called reaction. So if I'm going too fast or you want me to talk louder or talk lower, you let me know in the reactions, okay? And then of course, there's breakout rooms and closed caption, which is very similar to a television closed caption, all right? So that's that. So now let's go right into the new features of, uh, of the Zoom watch party. It's the first time we've, we've done this with our Zoom meeting. You can, you, you, you can connect uh, Facebook Live right from right from Zoom, and it enables uh, visitors to either look at it uh, live or, or in a scheduled meeting, as we're doing right now. And how you do that, at the bottom of your, if you're the host, you have to be a host in Zoom to do this. If you're a co-host, it doesn't work, or if you're a guest, it doesn't work. You, uh, you'll, as a host, you'll see a more button in the, in the toolbar, in the taskbar that, that uh, Zoom has, and you click on that, and automatically comes up a, a selection. And you, what you do here is you select, if you wanna go live on Facebook, you select live on Facebook. If you wanna go live on YouTube, you, you would select that as well. In this case, we're doing Facebook. And uh, in your controls, you have to allow Facebook to stream the webinar as well, okay? Uh, sometimes you get an error message like this, unable to stream video on Facebook. Just, to, just ignore it and try it again. Sometimes it's a browser issue. We found that uh, Safari brings up this message more often than the other browsers. So right now we're using Chrome as our browser and you, uh, because uh, Facebook uh, you know, is, is, is part, part of, the, of Chrome basically and Google, it all works together. All right, so in, in the watch party, once you get to the watch party, you have some of these controls right here on on the left side here, you got live, of course, events, offer, and job. We're doing a live presentation. Uh, the watch party is actually a, a makeover of live producer that they came out with uh, about six months ago. They're, they're changing the name to Facebook watch party. All right, so you can either go live or you can schedule presentations I mentioned. And one important thing is you, to get started, you need to select use the Zoom, uh, use stream key as your selection. There's a couple others that are that are there, but that's the important one to use, all right? Next, uh, you have to identify what uh, Facebook page you want it on. In, in our case, we manage Weaker Rock, so it's gonna be on the Weaker Rock page. And then uh, importantly, and you can't get away without it, is you need to enter a title and say something about uh, what the program is all about. So we've done that. And that's how we're streaming. So which, once you, uh, if you're looking at mm -hmm. Facebook right now, you'll be seeing this uh, presentation. It, Facebook is actually uh, delayed uh, slightly as well from a live presentation. So if you're looking at uh, the Zoom meeting and the Facebook meeting simultaneously, one is gonna be ahead of the other and the Zoom would be ahead of the other. Okay, but this is how it looks on Facebook, all right? 
And you, of course, can either look at it in the window as you're seeing here on, on Zoom, or you can make it full screen. All right, and that's the, our week of rock Zoom party. All right, so I think we're, we're there. Any questions on that background? Okay, that okay. Cool. That's good, right? We, we want to get right into the lesson. So here we go. I'm going to put up the, the music sheets. I'm launching the poll, too. Okay, good. So, okay. Answer the questions. How new are you to playing guitar? So okay. is this is my first lesson, or I have been learning a few months. I've been learning for a year, and I could pass as a pro. <laughs> so, select Very that, nice. and then hit the next button, and then go on to the second question. This is the last one. And this is regarding Zoom. How new are you to Zoom? This is my first time using it. I have used it a few times, or I have used it many times. Okay, I think what I got to do to answer that myself is I got to end my screen share. Uh, all right. Yeah, I think, I uh, you're, you're a host. I'm not sure if you can still answer those or not, but I can't yeah. answer them. Yeah. Can't block them on the device? Oh. Yeah, on the device. Yeah. I hit. Are you uh, new? Are you uh, new playing guitar? I hit it. Now, yeah, this that, is my first lesson. Be, yeah. Okay, this so is, now we've got the watch party. Okay, going on. this is my first lesson, so I hit next then. Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. And I got okay. It. Are you new to Zoom? Yeah. For me, yes. Okay. But, there you go. And submit. All right. All right. There you go. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Here's the second poll. Right. That's it. That was everything. You're that was it. Set. There was two. Right. There's only two. Uh, so what class 74 are you? <laughs> All right. We'll get rid of that one. Okay. I like your fingers there. It was pretty good. All okay. right. All right. So to, for today's lesson, I'm going to start uh, I, think on... I, I think I know who Rachel is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she changed her name. I did. <laughs> Three names. Hi, right, Grace. Yourself. How you doing? Okay, Renamed. how are you? Hi, how you doing? <laughs> All right, you guys go ahead and uh, practice. We're, okay, we're going to start off with a special pick. Can you see my face on the pick? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I like what? that. That's gorgeous. Right. Uh, All right, like I'm going to start off with the hardest song, and I'm going to play the riff from To Cry You a Song, which is the first one I ever heard Jeff Littrell play. And I'm not sure I can do it, but I will try. Right. Oh, it starts quiet. It's supposed to be four times. I did it three times. Anyways, that's the hardest one out of all these lessons. So we're going to wow. go to an easy one, Russ. Would you like to help Thank me you. with Born to be Wild? <laughs> you are making me sweat if we are going to do that one right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, the teacher did that one. And uh, right. you're going you're gonna to join uh, with us in one second, Tom. We're going to okay. do Russ first and then Tom. So this is Born to be Wild. And in this lesson, it takes place with two strings, the E string open, then you play it twice. Then the D is on the second string, third fret. Then you gotta go to the second fret for C sharp, back to the D, but you're not done because you have to repeat it. E, 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 D, C sharp, D. Well, Russ, let's see what you can do with that. Right. And you got to do it again. Good. The two chords in that song are E chord and D chord. So after you learn the riff, you can learn these chords, and it works with this song. E chord and D chord. Hey, Tom.
Tom, I thought you were trying this a little bit earlier. Let's see if you can do it, Tom. All righty. Let's see what we got. Opening. Good. And then the D. Hang on. And then start again. Hey, that's easy. Oh yeah, yeah, but you gotta end with the right chord, an E chord. Okay, we're oh, gonna okay. try we're gonna try three guitars at once. Russ, okay. Tom, and Rich. So I'm gonna count to four real slow, like one, two, three, four. Okay, E, 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 D, D sharp, D, E, 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 D. C sharp, D, E. And if you want to end the chord, you would end on an E chord, which is B, E. I so don't know that yet, but that's an E chord. That's pretty good. That's a good, and that would, by Steppenwolf, everybody knows that one. All right, we're going to switch to the Beatles for our second lesson, Russ. Okay, the Beatles. Right. Ticket to Ride, it's uh, <laughs> measure number 11. This includes a new note on the third string, Tom. Okay, let me see, like, let me get everything straight here. So the third yeah, string third is string, two. Third string, second two. fret. Two. Second fret. All second fret. So it's like open? Wait. Nope, it's two on the three. Two. Okay, so on it's- On the third string. Right, okay, third string. Two. Then you got the open E that you know already. There's that C sharp, which you've already learned, on right. the second of the second string. Second on the second string? Right. Now you move that finger up, and you're going to go to the second fret of the third string. That is A. Use your second finger. Second finger. A. A. Let's see. Let's see where is it. Second finger on this third right here. Let's see. Let me go. Let me start right from the beginning. So okay. it'd be be a second fret number two. Second fret okay. on the third string. Right. Then go up. Then open o E. Open E. Right. Then C sharp. Then your A. Third fret, third fret. Third fret, second oh, third, string. Third string, second fret, excuse me. Yeah, third, fr third fret, second string. Third fret, oh, second fret. string. Second fret, third string, right. Second, then, sorry, the B, third. Then, then you do the B open on the second string and the E open on the first string. Now this one sounds different, it goes And I think it's like seven times in a row. <laughs> think I'm gonna be sad. So I think it's today. So try it one time. E, C sharp, A. Beautiful. And open B. And E, high E, open E, first string. Okay. All right, Russ, you gotta try it. Okay. And <laughs> fret third. Right. Sorry, Russ. Sorry. Right. We're gonna do it together. <laughs> Right, do it again, two times now. A first, open E, and then open, and open. Right, now the timing is weird. It's like one, two, and triplet. One, two, and triplet. Two, and triplet. Weird timing. 
see you. Let's go. I do leave my second and third finger down until I play the B. Then I lift it up. Okay, you guys try it. Okay? Right. I like that. Nice, nice, nice. Well, Russ, what do you think we should do next? Peter Gunn or? Yeah, Gunn Peter Gunn. Wow. Peter, Peter Gunn? By well, Henry let me see. Mancini. It'll be on page two. Page two. You guys are killing me here. Peter Gunn. Zero, oh, yeah. zero, two, zero, zero. Let's see. That's on the sixth string now. That's the uh, fat one. Okay. 18. Yeah. Yeah. No. So what you're going to do is use your first finger on the second fret. Then use your third, a second finger on the third fret. And then your pinky on the fifth fret. And then <laughs> second finger. So there's no first fret notes. So you're in the second position. So open, open twice, right? Then use your first finger on that F sharp. Then back to open E. Second finger on the third fret. Open and five, three. So the fingers do not match the frets on this. Okay. So, so it's like, let's see, where are we here? Uh, two opens, two open E's. By George, you got it. Don't forget there's two E's in the beginning. Right, two opens, right, yeah. does you see palm mutes that and it, you, like you lay your hand on the guitar and it's, it comes out really cool yeah that sounds really cool russ you want to try it sure don't forget to go to three Now do that again. You gotta go open two, open two, right. Oh no, you gotta three. end on the three. Yep. So open two, open three, open five, three, five, three. Okay, what they call that, it's very good. It's an eight note rhythm. There's eight notes in one measure. One and two and three and four. And so uh, as you're playing that, I have my part to play. So once you learn that, I got to do my part, which is D, B, D, B, F. Time is going. And so, Russ, you gotta do your part real even. Try it one more time. Well, oh, you'd have to go back to, I think it was the 70s when this series was on, but it's such a captivating uh, lead. Yep. That's it. Oh, that's good. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we're going to go to Pretty Woman. All right. <laughs> I like that one, Gary. Now, Pretty <laughs> Woman has got two measures. Measure 20 and 21. Each measure is done twice. The first one lets the D ring on the edge. So we're going to do the two E's on the sixth string. Then that G sharp on the fourth fret. 
and then the B on the second fret of the fifth string and D. But these are low. And you got to do that twice. E, E, G sharp, B. D open. Oh. Yeah, and you let it ring do it again. Five notes. B and D. Now the second part, there's that eight note thing again, just like in Peter Gunn. You're gonna go. So two E's, G sharp, a B. He is on the fourth string. You stay on the fourth string and go fourth fret for the F sharp. Then the Elvis E and D. I do this in the second position also. I use my third finger on the G sharp, my first finger on the B. D is open. I use my third finger on the F sharp, my first finger on E and D. So they call this second position. So it's two E's, a G sharp, right. Now, Grace, do you have a guitar? I do not. <laughs> so you're watching us play all this funny stuff. <laughs> I am. So you'll have to sing, pretty woman. That's right. <laughs> well, you, you, you also could sing to the pretty woman. <laughs> there you go. All right. So the first, the first measure done twice sounds like this. Yeah. So try the first measure two times. Go ahead, Tom. Okay, let me see where I'm at here. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Right. Oops, so almost. Almost. Four string, four string. Four string, yeah. One, four two, straight, you're right. Four, two, two, and three. open. open. Uh, it's a fourth string open, correct. Almost. Oh, that's good. Yeah, extra note there. Now, the second measure, Russ, let's do the second measure now. We're going to go E, E, G sharp, B, D, F sharp, D, D, two times. We got eight notes in that one. One, two, three, four, five, seven. So it's okay. So it's open, two e's, open. Right. The G sharp, good. The B again. The D again. And then the three notes F sharp, E, and D. Those three notes are used in many songs. Yeah, I think of it here. But you got to do it again. And then F sharp, beautiful. Uh, let's see. Yep. Keep going. E, D. And what's nice, that's beautiful, Tom. What's nice about these, if you make a mistake, you go, oops, that don't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, For our second, to, uh, or yeah, the last one. Born in the Bruce. USA by Bree Springsteen. Most oh, okay. of your notes are on the first string, but the first one is not. It's the first the one is B on the second of the fifth string. Oh, the fifth string? Fifth second string. string. Well, oh, the fifth right. string, second fret. Right. But all the rest are on the first string. You got F sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp. Try that, Russ. 
B first, then open E, F sharp, G sharp, open E, F sharp. Tom, try that. That's beautiful. Okay. Low B. Oh, you got the low B first? Did you do the low B? I didn't see the low B. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. Low B. Uh, no, it's going to be second fret, fifth string. Second fret. Yeah, right here, right? Fifth string, second fret. Fifth. Right here. No. Nope, oh, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. Then you go to the first string. Let's see. Go. You two guys gonna do it at the same time. Okay. One, two, ready, play. B, I, F sharp. Now, real quick. Ta -da! Almost. That's five notes in a row there. You gotta do five in a Steve row. Van Zandt. Yeah, one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Stevie Van Zandt does it now. Two, open, two, four, open, open two. Open, two, open, two. Open, two. There you yeah, go. Yeah, I know, it's yeah, five yeah. notes in a row. Two. You let it ring. Two. Two. That's really good. We got time for one more, Gary. We got time for one more. <laughs> All right. All right. This is by the Rolling Stones, and this riff is beautiful. Let me get. Let me get my uh, music sheet. Get it off of my cloud. I can't tell you how many times they play that. <laughs> so this one, I start on the fifth fret. Fifth fret. And I got the fourth fret is the first note. Fourth wait, fret wait, wait. is the first note. Oh, we're on the fourth. We're on the fourth fret, right? First fourth finger fret. on the fourth fret. Fourth fret, right? Wait, 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 wait. Get, get off of my cloud. Is that what we're doing? Yes. Get off of my cloud. First finger on the fourth fret of the first string. Oh, right. There you go. On the in English, right. Cloud is girl. I'm here. Oh, get off of my girl? Okay. <laughs> That's what they right. meant. <laughs> then you got an A on the fifth fret with the second finger. Back to the G sharp with the first finger. A with the second finger. And pinky on the seventh fret for B. That's a high B. Then you're gonna go back to the G A first, G sharp and A. And I'm telling you, it's many times. And he's still doing it. So first finger on the fourth fret of the first string. And then you got two notes back and forth, A, G sharp, A. Then the high B on seven, very good, Tom. And then back to five, four, five. Five, four, five. You gotta go back to five, four, five. So Me? four, five, four, five, seven, five, four, five, and repeat. And repeat and repeat. One, da, 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 and start again. All right, let's do it real slow. We got the G sharp first. Then we got two notes A on the five to the four for the G sharp, back to the A, 
stretch to the B, let it ring. Good, Russ. And two more notes should be A on the five, four, and five. All right, Tom, let's see what you got. Uh, right. All right. And, and yeah, you're going to have the whole sequence on the fourth, fifth, and seventh fret. Okay, so it's like. So start on four, then go five, four, five, seven, stretch. Beautiful. Yeah, the only thing is I would use your pinky on the seven. On the so seven? Yeah, because you're okay. doing one, two, one, three, four, two, one, two, one. So you don't use the third finger at all. Oh, don't use the third finger at all. Okay. So it'd be so like one. Then go to two. You use your second finger on the fifth fret. Right. Second finger, not third. No third. Oh, the second finger. Right. Second. Pinky back to second one. Right. That's it. Okay, Russ. Where did Russ go? That's He's right here. Okay. Then go to your second finger. Right. Second finger. And then two, one, two. Five, four, five. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And that is the Rolling Stones. Get off of my cloud. All right. Very good. Hey, 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 Rich. 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 Can Rich hear me? All right. Rich. He can't hear you when he's playing. <laughs> he's, he's, yeah, you can use right, your Rich. third finger, Tom, if you want all to right. go to third. No, you Rich, when I, was, no, when, I, when I was looking at it, Born to be Wild, right? Yeah. I see the E chord, right? Yep, same chord, E chord, A chord, B7, and, and an A. E chord. A. So how do you mix that in to play Born to be Wild, like? Born to be Wild would be E chord. Born uh, to be the Wild. E chord. Now the D chord. Back to E. D. And your E. Yeah, so there'd be like four E chords. One, two, three, four. Four D chords. And four E chords. Oh, I see. E four. Okay, four, four, and four. It works so nice. Okay. Uh -huh. So okay. there are, uh, there's no bass notes on there, just chords and notes. Get off my cloud. Uh, the one that I like, I'll end it today with Pipeline by the Shantays. I'm going to use three notes, E, B, and G. Oh, here, let me get this down. Here we go. Pipeline. I know this word does. Let's see. One uh, and two and three and Again, there's eight beats in that measure, all eight notes. E, B, G, B. E, B, G, B. So there's a couple of lessons here with the sixth string. There's a couple of lessons with the first string. And then the rest of the lessons have all the other strings involved. But these couple ones are real good. How do you get the twang? Has that... Sir, but really, you have that one and two and three. That much fast. Where Peter Gunn's a little slower. So, what do you think about "Born to Be Wild"? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I like it. Thumbs up. Oh, oh. born in the USA. Thumbs up. Very good. These All right, we got a uh, we got a friend, a couple of friends that have tuned in on Facebook. So, Richard, say hello to Kristen, your daughter. Hi, Chris. All right, and Russell, say hello We're to Kristen. Roger Hobbs. Hey, Roger. They're elucidated. In, so, hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, we're gonna go back to our our PowerPoint right now. I gotta share the screen again.
Okay. Uh, Thank you very much. And there's the there's All right, the Richard. Thank you. Gary, <laughs> got the music welcome. right there that you could download. And, and right. then uh, finally, uh, our next uh, uh, thing is going. Uh, oh, if you want to have a private lesson with Richard Fostino, there's an application right on the Riga Rock website called uh, Lessons, and you can fill out the information. He'll send you the music sheets, and you guys could have a, a, your own Zoom meeting and lesson at the same time. And then finally, our next webinar is April uh, 12th. Okay, it's a month.